This morning, we are continuing our Positively Jacks segment, highlighting the work of local science students. Dozens of them, just so you know, are competing in the state science fair right now in Lakeland. Six of them have also been named finalists in the International Science and Engineering Competition. So let's meet another one. This 11th grader from the Episcopal School of Jacksonville, that is Tom Commander. He is conducting brain cancer research using nanotechnology. He used nanoparticles. They're coated in polymers to specifically target cancer stem cells. He compares it to firefighters all loaded into a fire truck. Listen. What this does is it takes those firefighters and they're loaded into the fire truck and that polymer is actually able to target something that is frequently found on the surface of cancer stem cells and take it there and then locally treat those cancer stem cells. You know, one of the big things with this is trying to minimize collateral damage but also maximize damage on those specific cells. You should see uh, Mark and Richard right now. They're like our little scientists in the building <laughs> looking like that is cool. So Tom wasn't always interested in brain cancer. No, he actually started out testing these nanoparticles on stem cells in a type of flatworm. I was thinking about greater impacts of this research that I was doing last year. And, you know, I, I found that there's a genetic similarity with cancer stem cells and those stem cells and those flatworms. And then I just became really interested in cancer when I started reading a lot of research articles. So Tom is currently focused on treating a brain cancer that Ted Kennedy had. It's called glioblastoma. Bo Biden and also John McCain, they were all diagnosed with this type of brain cancer. Tom conducted his research last summer in the Ahmad Laboratory at Northwestern University's Neurosurgery Department. Imagine that, this 11th grader. And he plans to continue his work there this summer. It's mind boggling. You can see some of the other amazing inventions that other local teenagers are being recognized for on newsforjax.com. One involves using music to treat mental illness.